There we go. We got, uh, found that damn cave. Not really a cave, more of a, just an outcropping of rocks here. See it up there. It's a pretty big area. You can see there's, it's dry inside, no snow. There used to be a rock wall here. You can see what's left of it. It's fallen down over the years. I'm sure some kids have been down here messing with it. Uh, where I used to hang out when I was like 16 years old. <laughs> Move into the cave here a little bit. You can see more of this rock wall. You can see where I shove my crap on this rock. Go back in here. A little fire ring left. I guess they didn't ruin everything. A nice little area inside here. You know, a couple people camp out at night. Tarp. Maybe uh, move the uh, fire pit back more towards the wall. This way. And then, uh, you know, reflect the heat back into here off the wall onto your uh, sleeping bags and where you're sleeping at. Let's go inside here. Pretty decent area. You're going to need some kind of ground cloth, but it's really not that bad in here. Fire ring. You see there's pretty much nothing around. All woods. trail actually came down is up through here but you probably can't even see that in the summertime you can barely find this damn place it's pretty uh it's pretty secluded you can see all the briar patches and thorn bushes and stuff that surrounds this place so it's not an easy way to get in there's even some inside over here it fills up pretty nice around here I would throw a bunch of uh, tree limbs right in here. Maybe along this lock, rock line here. And build it up a little bit. Keep the wind from blowing through. Some of my gear. Backpack, Apollo. It's actually a skater's backpack, but I mean, you can't go wrong. Big side pocket here for like a bottle. Some pockets here. I actually have my canteen in this one. Wool blanket, some other stuff in there. First aid kit. My uh, military cold weather field jacket with liner. Should have taken the liner out, sweated a little bit on the way up here, it's no good. My handy dandy sham wow. <coughs> <coughs> Gloves. And of course, on my hip. Handy dandy. That's the ATV of the fucking knife world, let me tell you. Eight inches. Made by Scott Gossman, custom maker. D2 steel. You see, I use it. Isn't that nice? It's got a stamp right there. Should be able to see it in the video. Mass pins. 3 sixteenths thick. Got a pretty acute point on it. It's nice. It's a convex grind. Secondary edge bevel. It's mine, so it's really sharp. <laughs> One of my uh, 
favorite outdoor or outdoor tools. Now let's see what we can get into. Later.